What should people avoid while traveling to Europe? In major cities don't let anyone hand you anything such as flowers or whatever. Once it is in your hands they start asking for money. They even gave a flower to one my kids and then wouldn't take it back. Just set it on the ground and walk away. Falling in canals and walking on bicycle paths if they come to the Netherlands. Street scammers in Paris, anywhere really, I just mostly see it in Paris. Don't rent a car if you're going to stay at a major capital, it's not worth it, it's much better to use public transport and get an occasional Uber. If you're from the US don't sign up for the bullshit $10 per day international service with Verizon or other service providers. Nearly any airport you arrive in will have a place where you can buy an SIM card to put in your phone at fraction of the price. For instance, I once got a SIM card in Seville, Spain for something like 12 euros and it came with a month of service and 9 gigabytes of data. Edit for using wrong name. Edit 2 Apparently there are eSIM services you can get now that are even easier. I'm not familiar with them but probably worth looking into. Restaurants in touristy areas that have signs out front with pictures of the meals and the price featured prominently. Should be obvious, but I'll say it anyway don't do the Hitler salute while in Germany. Not even as a joke it's illegal. And Holocaust denial is illegal in 18 European countries. Carry your wallet in your front pocket, if carrying a bag or purse, towards the front. It's a comment for all tourist areas, Europe just has a lot of them. Petty theft and scams. Don't leave stuff lying in the seat next to you on public transport. Be respectful to memorial places. Don't come to the idea to make selfies or similar. Inform yourself about the traditions of the country. In some countries, you can openly make small talk with strangers, while in another one, you do have to approach them like a wild animal. Avoid speaking without exchanging greetings first in France at least and not responding in kind when someone greets you. In other words, exchange bonjour before you ask where the toilet is. Avoid letting your kids act like monsters in public in restaurants, in particular. Avoid rushing through meals unless your kids are acting like monsters. Don't think that what goes for one country goes for all. There is all sorts of differences in cultures, laws, etc. I'd avoid Ukraine at the moment. LOL top of the list. Creepy dudes outside airports trying to split cabs. Face with tears of joy. Unless your dad's Liam Neeson. Avoid assuming Europe is all roughly the same. It's a continent, not a country. You don't go to Japan and expect it to be like Indonesia just because they are both in Asia. In other words, it all depends on which country in Europe you are traveling to. Coming over with a bunch of cash dollar and using an exchange service to buy euro. Just use your debit or credit card, everywhere. If you need some cash, take it out of the ATM exchange rates will be much better, no commission, 3 fee from your bank, but that's reasonable. Insinuating that Wales, Scotland, Northern Ireland and possibly some parts of Cornwall are in England. Doesn't go down too well. I would recommend avoiding let any tourist group plan your trip. You will only see the most touristy stuff and everything you eat will be insanely expensive. If you research enough you can do well in Europe and eat for much less. Avoid any restaurant that tries to strong arm you into entering. Scams. There are a lot of them. Beware the person that picks up a gold object ring etc. and tells you that you dropped it. It is not yours and it is costume fake. They will then try to get money out of you. There's another one with a guy that will ask for directions or something like that and then give you an article of clothing. The jacket or shirt will be garbage and he'll try to get money out of you. There are lots of other scams too. Taking a shit somewhere without buying something. Anyone who hands you a rose. Staying in major capital cities the whole vacation. You will only see a small part of culture there. Try traveling to some smaller cities or even villages and go for a few trips into nature as well. 
Euronet ATMS as they are basically a scam and will charge you up to 20 in fees for the money you are withdrawing. Edit if you want to find the best deal on cash withdrawal at an ATM, look for a local ATM and opt to use your home bank to calculate the exchange rate. Avoid trying to visit too many cities and countries during the same trip and stay everywhere for a minimum of two nights. US tourists seem to want to see too many places for short visits and end up not really experiencing anywhere properly. Pickpocketers Do not go inside a van if they offer free health care. I'd avoid social media and watching TV in the month before your trip and spend that time on Duolingo instead. Not sure where exactly you're going in Europe but it'll help you to know a couple of phrases in the language. Maybe the most common is expecting and acting as if things there ought to be like they are at home wherever that is. It's probably good to read a little about local customs and behaviors where you're going. Killing the Archduke of Austria Assuming that European countries are the same. Walking around loudly exclaiming how cute and quaint things are. Being extremely loud. Talking loudly about how much everything costs in dollars and say it's cheap. It may not be for those around you. If you ever visit England and go to the lovely little town in Shropshire called Should Avoid Eye Contact With will talk you to death. Swimming in liquid iron. If someone asks you if you dropped your wallet, don't reach for where you keep it. You're telling them exactly where you keep your valuables. Tipping. Don't start making it the norm here. While visiting Poland, refer to Polish cities' towns with their German names like saying Danzig for Gdansk. I witnessed a couple of drunk German guys did that. Did not go well. Currency exchanges. Just go to the bank or use an ATM. If you visit the Netherlands. Red dead. Red asphalt means it's a bike path. Yes, even if there aren't any signs. It's for bikes. Giethoorn is a village with humans living in it. Be respectful. The red light district isn't that exciting. There's a bunch of naked ladies inside some houses. Super cool. One gram of weed should be between 10 euros and 20 euros. If you pay more than 20 euros it just ain't worth it fam. As for avoiding specifically Amsterdam. It's like a Dutch-themed attraction park. Disneyland for weedaboos. Saw some Dutch. People who are intolerant of other people's cultures. And the Dutch. Complaining that something isn't how it is in the US or whatever your home country is. If you're a woman going to Italy, you should know it's more conservative than you think. You can't enter holy places and churches with bare arms or knees showing, and that's more places than you would expect like the Colosseum and the Pantheon. Even in the height of blistering summer, bring something for your shoulders or a light poncho cover-up. Edit I believe people saying it wasn't true when they visited the Colosseum, it's just what I observed when I went. Speaking loudly in public. Acting entitled when queuing up for something. Shitting their pants. It's a rather unfortunate incident and despite the rumors just as inconvenient in Europe as anywhere else. Don't forget to bring counterfeit money to hand to the scammers. And have a mousetrap in a nice, juicy, open pocket. You shouldn't litter in general, but if you do it in a big city in Europe, you might get a hefty fine. That infamous restaurant in Mykonos that charge like $300 for a couple pieces of shrimp and a cocktail and then threaten you if you can't pay grimacing face. To talk about Europe like it's one homogeneous place. Don't tell Scotty. He doesn't know. Scams. There's some pretty clever ones out there. Americans do not look left first when you try to cross a street in the UK as you do in the US. Learn to look right before crossing a street as that is the direction the vehicle that will hit you is coming from. If you rent a car and drive on the highway don't sit in the left lane when not passing anyone you'll get brights flashed at you and you might get a ticket. Also stop doing that in America too it's extremely annoying and causes traffic to pile up behind you. 
men, do not carry your wallet in your back pocket as pickpocketing is rife in many European countries.